in this particular video, I'll be installing the Proxmox VE. So here my Zima board is connected right now. So I'll be opening the terminal UI. This is the license agreement and user license agreement. I'll just agree to it. And these are the target disks. So as I'm using Zima board, so Zima board has an internal MMC, which is 29.12 GB. And this contains CASA OS on Debian. So I won't be touching the main OS. I have installed this 256 GB of SSD, which I'll be using for the Proxmox. For the home lab, for the test purpose, this particular disk will be fine. So I'll be choosing this disk here. Now you can choose, of course, advanced option. What type of file system you can use, XFS or EXT4. I can use RAID 0, RAID 1 or RAID 1 0 or ZFS or I can even use Butterfuss depending upon if you have multiple disks into your server. For example, if server is not having the hardware rate, then these options like ZFS or Butterfuss, these can be used as a software rate. So usually if you're installing Proxmox on your hardware server where RAID is taken care by the hardware, I will recommend you to use hardware RAID and then you choose EXT4 or XFS. XFS is in fact superior to EXT4, so it all depends on the uh, storage size. If you are using extremely large storage, so I will recommend you to go for XFS. But here I'll be going for the EXT4 for this particular installation. So I'll be using EXT4 and total size of this disk is 238. So I'll be using 238 GB which is total and I'll be allocating 8 GB as a swap space which is for the swap memory. So target hard disk is chosen so I'll be choosing next. Here is the country, Oman and Asia musket and keyboard layout is English United States. Wow. Here you have to provide the root password. The root login will be root, but the password I'll be specifying now. Here you need to provide your admin email in case you want to get the notifications and press next. Fully qualified domain name. So I'll be using pve.sync. I'm using the DHCP server, which is giving the IP addresses, but I'll be giving a static IP here. My router IP address is 100.1, so for this I'll be using 100.2. My subnet is for 24 bits, and here I'll be choosing the gateway address. Gateway address is 192.168.100. You can use the default DNS server, but I can also use the DNS server of Cloudflare because my most of websites are hosted there, so I want to make sure that when I'm testing my sites, so I should immediately get the DNS updated from there. Press next. It will give you the confirmation that what type of operating system is being installed. So PVE, Proxmox VE 8.1.1 is being installed and the boot file system is EXE4 and you are installing on dev STA, which is your disk. And then these are all the settings. So if you are okay with these settings, so you just go in here and pressing install. Now it will be cleaning up the disk, which is SSD, and then it is creating the partition. We will wait for this process to complete. It might take some time. Installation is finished. Now it is rebooting the server. We need to change the boot order in the Zima board because we don't want Zima board to load the operating system directly from the internal hard disk. We'll first of all reboot the server, the BIOS settings into it, and I will remove my flash disk, which is already there in the server. Boot option prioritized is Proxmox, and then is the MMC. I'll be disabling all other, I'll be disabling this one also. Only Proxmox PO teams will be available right now. So I'll be just saving the changes and exit so that the system automatically loads the Proxmox. All right, so you can see here that you can access this using 192.168.100.2. Let me try to access this. A root is the user and password is here, which I have set it up. So it will be HTTPS 192.168.100.2 column 8006. Here you can see that I'm able to access it. User ID root of my password. And now you can see here that I'm connected to my PVE.